Hello everyone, welcome to yet another video from Let's Decode. Hope you guys are enjoying our videos. If you are new to this channel, check out our previous videos, links are in the description, you guys will definitely like them. So in this video we're going to learn how to create a digital clock. Yeah, that's right. Digital clock started crying as soon as it heard about our analog clock video. So, we've decided to make a video to show that they both are equal to us. Let's divide it as steps and conquer it, as always. First, let's learn how to create patches. Secondly, let's try to create a 7-segment display. Next we'll see how to display numbers on it. Then we'll learn how to create a digital clock. In addition to that, we'll see how to extract digits. Finally, we'll jump into updating the digital clock. Okay, let's start our session without further delay. What is patch function? Let's see by giving some coordinates of x and y. Oops there is nothing. Let's try by giving more coordinates for x and y. Now we can see a line joining given coordinates. Let's create a rectangle. Coordinates are present in the image provided. We have to create a 7 segment in this manner. So to make design simple let's split this into 7 patches namely top center. Middle center bottom center top left bottom left. Top right bottom right. If we create this 7 patches then our 7 segment display is made. So first let's look at the coordinates of each patch. I have written the coordinates of all patches. Let's store this top center coordinates in a variable named top center. Store the X coordinates in first row and Y coordinates in the second row. So that we can access them separately. Do this in MATLAB. Yes the patch is created. Now let's create the middle center patch by looking at the coordinates in the figure. We have created two patches. Let's continue doing this for bottom center patch too. Do this for all the patches. Oops. MATLAB throws an error I think I had missed something. There it is. I didn't specify the color. Now let's run this again. We have done creating 7 segment display. Let's arrange these in order. Separate the variables containing coordinates and patches. Then name these patches. Now we will display the digits. For displaying zero the patch middle center must be cleared. So we can do that by using keyword face alpha. Set of B comma face alpha comma zero removes the patch middle center. Set remaining patches to one. As they must be present. But we are having this outline of the removed patch. We have to remove that. The outline of this patch must be removed. So to clear that we can use keyword edge alpha. Yes that is beautiful now. Let's remove the outlines of other patches too. We removed all the outlines. Now let's display digit 1. Remove all patches except top right and bottom right. By using pause we can generate a delay of 1 second. Display digit 2 in the same manner by removing the unwanted patches. Do the same for digits till 9 so that we can display them. Now we will see how to create another 7 segment display. Copy this coordinates and paste them. Change the variable names. Increase the coordinates by a fixed value. So that we can create the 7 segment at the new coordinates. Run this. Save the file. We have two segments, but they are not ordered perfectly. This is because we have changed the coordinates of Y2. 
Remove the increment and Y coordinates. Now the segments are ordered. We can create another segment too. Copy the coordinate values. Change the variable names. Increase the X coordinates. Let's convert these variables into structs so that we can name different segments easily. These are coordinates for first seven segment display. So name them DISP1. DISP2 must have the same dimensions as DISP1. Create the coordinates of second display. The coordinates are same as that of first display, but we have to increment the X coordinates. Create a matrix containing X coordinate values to be incremented. Let's create a total of eight segments using for loop. So DISP2 must be changed to the variable I. And increment values of 8 displays are present in matrix disp increment. We need to create patches for each segment. Do that using loop. There are total of 8 segments. Each segment has seven patches so they can be differentiated using count variable. We know that each segment has seven patches and they must have different names. To name each patch of a segment differently we need to increment count after each patch so that patches are named with different variables. Let's display the segments we have created. We have eight segments. We have done creating segments for displaying date. And now we have to create the segments for displaying time. In time we require only six segments. Make sure to change the variables as they must be different to that of date variables. We haven't got the segments of time. Set axes to display both date and time segments. Now we have two displays. But they are clumsy so to make them clear use figure properties and change positions. Now the displays are perfect. I hope you all know how to use clock function. We have year, month, day, hours, minutes and seconds respectively. Let's have a variable. We can get the thousands digit by using floor function. To get digit at hundreds position. We need only three so to get that. Now we can get the digit at tens position by writing. Now to get the digit at 1's position we have to write. We have segments for displaying date, month, year. We have to update the digits according to current time. 
Using C of 1 we can get the year. And using C of 2 we can get the month. And day using C of 3. So now let's extract day from the clock. Store them in variable current digit of 1. Separate the digits from day. To separate them use the logic we discussed earlier. There we can see the first digit of day. We can see there are two digits and we separated the first digit. Now separate the second digit and store it in current digit of 2. The digits of the day are separated. Now extract the digits of month and year. Store them in variable current digit. Remember the logic that I discussed before to separate thousands position, hundreds position and so on. We can see the digits of date are extracted. We have to update the date segments according to the digits extracted. If the current digit of 1 is 0, then we have to remove this middle center patch. And the patch is stored in the digit 1 of 2. And if the current digit of 1 is 1, then we need only top right and bottom right patches. If we look at count they are stored in the variable digit 1 of 6 add 7. So set patches from 1 to 5 to 0. Let's run this. We have updated only first digit. We have to update remaining digits too. Before that complete all the cases for current digit of 1. We know how to display digits so complete the cases up to 9. To display 8 we don't need to remove any patch. So we can leave that. Complete all the cases till digit 9. The remaining digits in the date must be modified. We have to update month, year. So to do that we will use a loop. Now we have to change this patch variables too. Present variables are of only first segment in the total of 8 segments. Let's see how to change the variables of patches. We have 7 patches for each digit and total of 56 patches for 8 segments. Let's see how to modify each patch of any digit as we wish. If i is equal to 1 then we can access the first segment. And if i is equal to 2 we can access the second segment. Let's access the patch 9. If we remove that we can display 0 on segment 2. Let's see how to display 1 on this segment. This is third segment so to access that we need to multiply 3 with 7. We need only 20 and 21. So remove patches from 15 to 19. I hope you know about colon operator. Now I want to display 2 on 3 segment. So start by multiplying 3 with 7 as it is 3rd segment. To display 2 we need to remove 18 and 21. Let's access those patches. We will get 21. Now let's update the code. To display 0 we need to subtract 5. To display 1 we need to do this. 
update all the digits. Now run this. We have displayed date on our digital clock. Now we have to display time. First let's extract the digits. Sea of 4 contains the hours. Sea of 5 contains minutes. And seconds in sea of 6. Separate digits as we did for date. Use the same logic. We have to round of the seconds before extracting. We can do that using round function. Then extract the digits of seconds and store them. Check whether the first digit of seconds is 6. If yes make the seconds digits to 1. Copy the code to update the digits. Change this as time has only 6 segments. Make sure to change the variable names. The variable is digit 2 and current digit 2. We have updated the time too, but the time is not changing. So use an infant loop and update the time every second. Oops, the patches are missing. This is because we have cleared the patches. So make sure to set all the patches for every loop and remove the patches accordingly. Yes, now it is running perfectly. Let's display time in blue color. So change the patch colors to blue. To make it more attractive let's separate the hours, minutes and seconds using circles. I had done that and let's see how it is. Let's blink the circles for alternate seconds. I have written the code for that using simple logic. Now it's like perfect digital clock. Thank you for bearing with us till the end of the video, if you still have any doubt in this topic, feel free to ask us in the comments section. If you like this video, please continue to support us with your likes and comments. Please subscribe so that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you once again and sayonara.